She, you know, she, uh, uh, um, I, I did this an interview. Uh, I did an interview on the BBC where we talked about this. She, she, Jane was more of a comedian. She had perfect comic timing. She knew how to make the 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 the, 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 the straight man make the joke on her. Bob Hope, you know Bob yeah, Hope. Yeah. Bob Hope used to say all the time, "Oh, I was in Hollywood the other day, and I bumped into Jay Mansfield, and she was on the other side of the street." Okay, you know. So, so she was the butt of a lot of fun, but she fed it. All the great comedians, they loved her because she was always the, fo the, the, the foil, you know? Because they knew that they could always work, she'd always feed them the lines, always knew, because she was so smart, it was incredible. She was incredibly intelligent. And so everything she did with the ooh, and all that sounds, there was something that was divisive, you know? Uh, so anyway, she uh, she was very successful in the play, and I liked uh, what I felt the difference. Everyone said, "How could she be in Marilyn, both be a 20th century Fox? Why would Fox?" Well, Marilyn was much deeper. Ma Marilyn also was uh, she had frailties, you know. You wanted a mother, uh, Marilyn. Where Jane, you wanted to jump into bed, you know. So there, there was always that difference, and they were very friendly with each other. Yeah. You know, there never was a, a battle between them. You know, they were too professional for that, and they were both at Fox. You know, they were both Fox players. So Zanuck players. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Zanuck well, well Zanuck, Zanuck was a fan of Monroe, not Mansfield. Uh, 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 Zanuck didn't bring Mansfield into uh, Fox. It was while he was away that Mansfield was brought in. And everybody felt that Zanuck didn't like Jane. And then one day, Jane was making a film taking place like a bus. It wasn't bus stop, but it was a, like an answer to it. And they had a French director. And there was a scene where Jane was sitting at, at the, the table. Now, you have to understand, everybody loved Jane. The crews, the, 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 the workers on the lot, um, uh, uh, everybody, Michael Caine, and uh, uh, all, all the other actors had great respect because she was so friendly with everybody, you know? So now, she was sitting and there was a cup of coffee on the table. And this French director, who was a friend of Zanuck's wife, okay, he comes in and he tells her he wants her to sip the coffee and then put the, the coffee down and deliver the line. So, Jane, action, Jane, and I was standing in the back in front of the door to the studio and she did exactly what he wanted. He said, no, 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 no. And he went over and he slammed on the thing. He said, I told you. He said, and then he changed what he originally. And everybody in the crew is noticing, even Dan Daly, who is a co-star, was an actor at the yeah. time. Dan Daly's looking and, he, you know, what is this guy coming off with? So now he tells her, okay, and to do it a little different. Now she does it again. And this guy starts to scream. All of a sudden, I look to my right, and I see the door a little open to the studio. And I see Zanuck's face inside the door watching what's going on. Fifteen minutes later, messenger comes down. Pink slip, director, off the lot, security. They escort him, and he's off the lot. I had done a play in New York called Walk Up. In New York, we have an expression for a building that has four or five floors and no elevator. You know, um, it's 
not the best neighborhoods, and I grew up in a building like that. And so you call them walk-ups. And the play was written by a wonderful young guy, and it was uh, three one-act plays. That was the evening of walk-up. And they were three apartments in the building. The play opened in Greenwich Village. I don't know if you know what Greenwich mm. Village is. The play opened in Greenwich Village uh, at a very distinguished playhouse, and it got unbelievably rave notices. So big were the notices that the next morning, the playwright, I called him up. I said, do you want to have lunch? And he said, hell, lunch, nothing. He said, I'm going to Hollywood. He said, the agency is sending me, I'm, I'm under contract to Universal, just from those reviews. I said, you just had the reviews last night. I said, what are you going to do in Hollywood? Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to do a TV series. And he made some very successful TV series. Uh, in any event, when I got to Hollywood, I really wasn't interested in doing films. But she introduced me to everybody on the Fox lot. And I worked in editing, I worked in cinema. Two weeks here, two weeks there, two weeks in sound, two weeks on camera. I really started getting, and they were all the technicians that had been in Hollywood in the 30s, 40s, in, in the golden years. Yeah. And they were older guys, they all liked Jane, and they liked me, and they loved teaching me, showing me everything, you know? So, uh, that's really how I approached the first film. And so she played one of the three, and it was a total diversion of what, of what she had played before. She said, I want to do something I've never done. I want to try it. And she plays this prostitute with a sailor in a hotel room. And the cameraman, is his first film for he was from Hungary and he became Barbara Streisand's cameraman. His name jumps out of my head. Leslie, uh, Les, Leslie uh, Kovacs who became, an, uh, he's an icon himself. This was his first film and we did shots that we just, you know, we had a triple mirror and she, and we put a camera um, over here and we saw her in this panel and the camera started moving and her mood and her character changed so that when she got to the middle mirror and then when she got to the end mirror, I mean, we, we just did some really kind of wonderful stuff because we didn't care. We didn't think anything was going to happen with the film.